If you were at Vancouver Island University for MosaicCon in early September, you might have caught a glimpse of Superman playing Nintendo, had your picture taken by Wonder Woman, taken a chance to play with magic, or cheered on your favorite team in a video game tournament. For those who didn't have a chance to go, this is a bit of a look into what geek culture is all about. I believe it's a growing thing here in Nanaimo especially because there's nothing like this really for people here. I've been to quite a few different conventions and I always have to travel somewhere else for it. And if we look at today's culture, it's become kind of a norm for people to do things like this. I bought all of this online with my big boy money. <laughs> but the face is mine. There's a lot of different types of people that are coming out here, a lot of kids and grown-ups and all different ages and a lot of people having fun. Fun is at the heart of these conventions and even here each fan has their own unique interest. Fandom is indeed a very inclusive culture. Any form of gaming to different movies to comic books to trading cards, it can encompass anything that about 20, 30 years ago would have gone you, your butt kicked in high school. Heroes Inc., a Vancouver Island-based group that dresses up as superheroes to benefit children, is accustomed to the extra attention and photos that costume play attracts. Personally, a lot of acceptance for uh, being adult superheroes. You don't think there are many adults that would be willing to uh, have their photos taken or support a group that uh, works with children, but uh, it's been amazing here. People growing up with media and the internet, we are able to share a lot more with each other. And it just helps us know that we're not alone when we dress up or play games or you know, think back to board gaming or old school games. In this day and age when a lot of people are just not communicating directly, I, I think this kind of thing really feeds the need for us to be humans who get together and actually interact with one another because it's, it's so much of what we do is electronic now. So do we, do we just like walk like a zombie? The younger generations now are getting bolder, uh, more confident and comfortable in their own skin and aren't afraid to go out in something totally different. Just seeing people uh, like embrace the culture rather than shun it is just so beautiful to me. Yeah, it's nice seeing what we've come to accept. Like anime a few years ago wasn't socially acceptable to say that you even liked, let alone to dress up as these characters. We get the captain up on the stage, please. Captain Jack Sparrow. The costumes were amazing. I was actually not expecting this level of our participation and the craftsmanship from a lot of the people. I think when someone makes their own costume, it means, it means a lot more to them. You've put your heart and soul into something that you really care for and feel about and something that you relate to. And that pride of costume is apparent in everyone who graced the stage at MosaicCon. And while some characters are more mainstream and easier to recognize than others, they all have fan appeal. This one was one of the first ones I actually started to work on myself instead of just buying it. So I actually um, tacked like parts of my overalls together, like made them into shorts and just made it kind of a little more breezy considering it's still really warm out. And for this hammer here, I actually got um, like children's jigsaw like sitting foam like for like floor mats on the sides in the middle and like piping casing, so like plastic tubes just throughout the middle to support it. And just more craft foam around, tons of hot glue and tons of spray paint. I did a little less this time around. I have about three or four different Harley costumes at this point. This one is my in progress. Um, I got this dress from my mother some time ago and I've just altered some of the hemming on it. Uh, the jacket a friend of mine bought and I'm actually altering it to look like the Harley that you're going to see in Suicide Squad. Of course, if you didn't know that the villainous Suicide Squad is being made into a movie or that the TARDIS isn't really a police box, then next year's MosaicCon may not be topping your event list. And yet, it may just be the perfect opportunity to delve into fandom and explore your nerdier side. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Derek Johnstone.